The newly inaugurated president of Charles Hash Diocese and later council, Simon Abba, has said effective collaboration between the laity and priest remains sacrosanct for the growth of the church. He stated this shortly after their inauguration at St. Matthias Catholic Church, that St. Guru in Charles South local government of Plateau State. City Viswal Biogak completes the story. Self motivated leadership and collaboration remain invaluable for the growth and unity of the church. The newly elected president of the Jos Archdiocesan Laity Council, Simon Abba, stated this shortly after the inauguration. He said providing dynamic leadership will be his key objective and priority. We want to have a dynamic leadership where there is effective collaboration between the priests and the leech. We want to use this video to, to also enhance our participation in laity activities and build up our spirituality. Performing the inauguration, the Archbishop of Jos, Most Reverend Dr. Ishaya Audu, reminded the new ESCO that leadership in the church is a call to service, which demands a lot of sacrifice. I want to remind all of you that leadership in the church is called to service. We are called to serve other people, not to dominate We will be in charge of all the associations in the past and we expect you to do your best to see and to give a good service. The outgoing president, Marcelino Sua, and the chaplain of the Josiah Dasusan Laity Council, Reverend Father Joseph Inyam, both reiterated their prayers and support for the new leadership. Gratitude to God for having taken us through the four year chain of uh, He accompanied us on the journey. And we're happy that we've attended it. The part we're still part of it. So we learn our support and go pray with them so that the mission of the church be fulfilled. I want to congratulate they have done extremely well. They are able to unite the archdiocese and laity very, very well, and they have been very cooperative in their work, in their services for the church and of all to humanity. They are the same good people, they are the same part of the ESCO of some of them. I also want to congratulate them for, for the upward coming of events that will be on their hands. I want to wish them the very best and I wish them cooperation among themselves and the support the Archbishop in all his works so that together both the laity and the clergy will work assiduously well for the success of the Archdiocese. The inauguration was followed by a formal handing over at the Bishop Court. Walby Ogak reports from Joss.